Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part three of Iron Man's arm mechanism. So here's one completed arm which I've done. The shoulder bell will fit just on there eventually. And the arms I've designed, um, as you've seen in the previous two parts, to be completely self-supporting. So there's no straps at the shoulders and nothing else holding them on. So basically you can easily get the arms on and off yourself um, and they basically stay on your arm. And the way I've done that is by putting a mechanism in the forearm which opens up um, and that basically grips your arm to hold it and there's basically some foam inside which acts as a cushion um, so all the way through the arm we've got foam that you put your arm through and then this piece clamps shut and holds you and there's just a release mechanism on the back there causes it to pop open, just like in the movie. So I've only assembled one arm, the rest of the pieces I've got on the table. So let's have a look at those, and I'm gonna be putting that together and um, basically showing it nut for nut and bolt for bolt. So I've got the two halves of the forearm, which um, basically they were one cast, and those have been cut in half. So these are polyurethane casts. Um, if you have a look back through the videos in my channel or at the website, which is xrobots.co.uk, you can see how all, these, how all these pieces were made from scratch. Basically, I made a foam suit, made silicon moulds, and then rotocast polyurethane resin in them. So, obviously, that's the bicep. And I've got the mechanism already 3D printed, so the previous two parts mostly covered this mechanism, um, which is basically a pair of latches and then there's a lever that releases them and obviously that goes in there it also makes the hinge for the bicep which is this piece which fits neatly in there and I have these 3D printed buttons that go on the outside and obviously this piece fits on here and uh, locks into place so let me get out the hot glue gun and I'll be gluing this in and then we can um, see what happens next Right, so I've got my hot glue gun. It's just a normal cheap hot glue gun. It takes 11 mil sticks. Uh, I've got my Iron Man pieces here and I've got the bracket here. So you'll notice the profile of this is of course rounded. Uh, the sides aren't particularly flat, uh, but of course the sides on this are flat. So when I did the last one, uh, we have to glue them on at the bottom and then you can see a gap along the top where the uh, side of the piece runs out. So we need to carefully position those. And make sure they're parallel. And then we can just um, stick that in to start with with a couple of blobs of hot glue. All right, so I've glued both sides of that in just with a couple of blobs of glue. You can see, obviously, there's a gap along the top here and the same here. Uh, let's just check the mechanism works. Seems to, and it seems to be uh, properly aligned. Um, so basically, the next thing is I'm just going to glue those in properly. To do that, um, I'm going to put the glue gun up here and let glue go down in the... Uh, there's a small gap at the bottom on each one, so basically like this just to make sure those pieces are glued on properly and I'll do that on both sides good thing about hot glue is that it's molten plastic basically so um, it takes some time to cool by which point it can run in and fill gaps which works quite well so now that side's glued on properly obviously I need to put this side on should go like that so the best thing to do I think is just to put some hot glue along here and then push that together then we'll open it up and do the other side okay so I've glued both of those on now um, so if we push the lever yeah, it pops open, latches down, 
um, and that all seems to be working. So the next thing is to try and get some foam in this so it fits my arm properly. This one's the right arm. When that's done, we can attach the elbows onto the bicep piece. Okay, so it's time to glue the foam in. What I've got is uh, several bits of sort of firm foam. This is the same foam that I originally built the foam suit from. It's Plastazote LD45 foam. And um, what you can see with the other arm I've completed, I can attempt to show you anyway, is there's some blocks of firm foam stuck on top of it. Is some much softer foam, which is this stuff, which is actually upholstery foam, uh, which is much, much softer. So basically I've made the rough shape with firm foam. Um, you can see a, possibly see a, a firm piece in there and then some soft foam stuck on top. So I just need to replicate that for the other arm. So the cast of the inside is kind of in a regular shape. So I'm going to stick some strips into the gaps and then bridge over that with a bigger piece and then glue the soft foam on top. Right, so it's just a test fit of the softer foam there. Seems to be holding my arm on pretty well. So we can go ahead and glue that in. So I've got basically these firmer foam supports in there. And I'm just gonna glue this stuff in, like so. So now it's time to attach the bicep. And to do that, I'm going to use one small screw. You can use a self-tapper, this is also, uh, this is basically a countersunk wood screw, doesn't really matter. Um, so the way I've designed these is that on here, this, this hole is quite big, I've got some little washers that fit perfectly in there. So basically I'm going to make a stack of washers screwed onto the, the joint pieces and then those should slot uh, perfectly in there and we can fix the the button on over the top to hide the screw head. So, and we're also going to have some bigger washers just to make up the space, which um, I'm not sure exactly what size they are, but um, sort of a larger round washer. So, I think we need three or four small washers on the screw. Two large ones. So the pieces here, if you remember, are 3D printed in ABS. ABS is quite tough plastic, so I can literally screw the screw just into that. If we can align all the washers. That should fit nicely into that part. So after a bit of wiggling, we can hopefully see that that screw head is recessed, so the uh, top of this is flush, and the three washers are inside the hole, and the two bigger washers are in between the two pieces, so that makes quite a good hinge. Um, so I just need to put the other side together, and then we can stick on the um, buttons. So I've got my buttons ready to go on there to cover the screw up. Those I'm just sticking on with a bit of double-sided, um, it's like padded double-sided tape. Uh, we need to make sure the arm can open and that doesn't get caught on there. We want to make it as central to the cutout on the bottom there as we can. So I think it needs to go about there, but I can always move it. So let's stick that on and then we should be ready to go. Let's just try that. Yep, looks good. Just do the other side. Then the only last thing we need to do is put some foam down in the bicep, which I have done with the other one, just to hold it centrally on the arm. And then we'll have a pair of arms done. Okay, now I have both arms done. and They seem to hold on pretty well, so they've uh, achieved what I was planning with them. So the next part of the video is going to go back and uh, finish off the hands. Now I know what I can get through the sleeves, which actually isn't a great deal. 
So I'm going to need a slightly different approach for putting the gloves on for those. And I'm also going to be working on the hand plates for the back of the hands and the articulation on those. And then we'll work our way up to the shoulder bells and up to the torso. So have a look at xrobots.co.uk for more information on the whole project.